Normally I would be in my dungeon recording this podcast, but I don't want to go downstairs. So I'm upstairs in my nice office that I recently decorated, watching Shonu eat food. Because, you know, it's a pandemicon and you have to get your jollies where you can. And damn it, that man inhaling food brings me so much joy. This is Leslie. Welcome to Geeky Girls Night In. Hold on to your seat. Uh, what are you doing? Now you're talking. And now... You are now listening to... The Geeky Girls Night In. Podcast. Podcast. You are now listening to... The Geeky Girls Night In. Podcast. Podcast. So hey guys, no guests today, so this will probably be a short one, but I just wanted to talk to you about a few things. The first one being, a few years ago, a couple years ago, when the podcast started, um, I made mention of a game that I got to play, and it was called uh, Super Seducer. And I played it with my husband and we laughed because it, it was it was hilarious. There were a lot of very strange scenarios. Um, but it was fun in the fact that it was silly. But it it's it's written by a dating coach and he's apparently a seduction expert too. I don't know how you get qualified for that. Is there like a test? Does Microsoft execute it? Um, but he's the lead person on this game. Anyway, uh, turns out that on February 15th of this year, so in a couple weeks, um, Super Seducer 3, the final seduction is coming out. And I don't know, is that something that you guys would want to see me play? Um, seduction is not my forte, that much I know for sure. Um, but yeah. Let me know. Also, in other news, um, so Reddit has a section where they do Secret Santa gifts. You you send out a Secret Santa gift, you receive a Secret Santa gift. And my first Secret Santa was kind of a dud. Like, they, they didn't send me anything. And so I got rematched. And my Secret Santa rematch came, was it Monday? I think it was Monday. No, no, it wasn't Monday. It was last week, so maybe Friday. And it had the most eccentric items in it that I've ever seen. First of all, they got me like a pop filter, which was for my microphone, which is really cool. And they gave me a thermometer, a meat thermometer, but it's only for pork. And it oinks or squeals when it's when the pork is to the temperature. So that was pretty cool. They gave me some sweatbands, an emergency uh, blanket, like one of those um, shiny aluminum foil blankets that you see in procedural shows where they wrap the person up when they're cold or going into shock, and just a lot of other things. So it was really cool, and it was a fun experience. So I went ahead and I signed up for another Secret Santa, but it's, it's I hesitate to call it Secret Santa. Basically, the one I chose, I'm sending condiments to someone. Um, and if you've listened to our show a few times, you'll know that Chef Oya has been on the show. And so I'll be sending out hers and um, someone else's as well. I can't think of the name that she uses, but the seasoning, oh, Food Love Tog is the name of of her line of sauces and stuff and um well she doesn't have sauces she has seasonings and F- food love tog 
seasonings are used at Chef Oya's trap. So like she uses her seasonings on all the seafood. And um, so it'll be like the perfect thing. And so I'll get two that match and I'll, I'll send that out to my secret seasoning spice condiment Santa. I hope they appreciate that. And in other news, uh, COVID is still a thing. Still working from home. Um, the way Indiana is doing it is completely by age, which is kind of crap because I think the teachers should be able to get it. And yeah, it's entirely by age. No comorbidities, nothing. Just 100% by age. And so um, still waiting on that. Still, like I said, working from home. Though I feel like my, my work tablet is on its last legs. I'm still learning Korean. And in the, the show notes, there'll be a link to where I get my tutoring from um and if you want to sign up there uh yeah like I said there'll be a link there and you'll get like 30 percent off something like that I'm not sure um and they don't just have Korean they have other languages of course as well so you can check it out and then you can message like the tutors that you think you'll, you'll find interesting and they'll talk to you back and and you can see if that's a match I thoroughly enjoy my tutor he's a good guy and he's patient because like I can I can read and pick out the the words to the cows come home but my pronunciation is garbage like absolute garbage so we're working on that and as a matter of fact I need to schedule another uh lesson with him here shortly also another game that's coming out it's called Cat Colony Crisis. I have a few, quite a few listeners that have cats. I just posted my cat on Instagram today. Well, he's not my cat, he's my husband's cat. He's kind of a pain in my ass sometimes. But listen to this. Cats are enigmatic, adorable, and unpredictable beings, which makes them the perfect focus for developer Devil Cider Games virus management sim Cat Colony Crisis. Cat Colony Crisis puts you in command of a spaceship full of symptomatic kitties. Your mission is to utilize social distancing and rapid testing in order to stem the outbreak and protect the entire colony from becoming sick. Winner of the Game Jam's 2020 prize in character management category and the $20,000 LabX development grant, Cat Colony Crisis is clawing its way to a February 9th release date on PC and mobile. So that's something to check out. It, there's a lot of cats. There's so many cats. I will go ahead and I will put the link to the trailer in the show notes as well. But yeah, not a whole lot going on here and I didn't have an interview this week, but I didn't, I didn't record last week or the week before and I didn't want to leave you guys without something for a third week. That's weird and wrong. Um, I did post to YouTube and I apologize in advance. The The quality of the video is extremely blurry. My camera messed up. And I'm currently looking for a new camera that suits the needs for YouTube. But I also want it to be able to take decent pictures. So I've been going back and forth. There's also a blog post on that. And I think initially I was going to get the Sony ZV-1 but more and more it's looking like I'm gonna go ahead and get the Canon M50 Mark II. It has more of what I want. Um, the only problem that I've seen with it thus far that I don't like is that when you shoot in 4K, it crops in really tightly. And I've been looking at that and there are solutions to that issue. So I will be um, probably picking up the solution along with the camera. The thing is though, the way that I'm going to purchase it and the way that like I save my money and things like that is that I can't have absolutely anything else that I am paying on. And <clears throat> I use Afterpay a lot and I was almost done with my afterpay and then Monster X became the brand ambassadors of Urban Decay and I had to support because you support people damn it and so um I went ahead and I bought a palette and and I no not an eyeliner 
I, I needed some more primer potion because I've been out forever. So I got that too. And I will do an unboxing of that uh, once it gets here on the YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out. The link will be also in the show notes. And yeah, that is it for this week. Um, make sure, like I said, you check out the YouTube page. Um, I'm trying to produce more content for it. And as a matter of fact, I'll have a series going up soon talking about organization, um, and things like that. Also make sure you check out the blog. There is a blog post of me talking about the different cameras that I was looking at and what I was looking for and things like that. Um, along with pictures of the cameras. Also, um, on the Geeky Girls Guide to Life page, uh, webpage, there is a, there are pictures, um, from the fan fictions, um, of things that I describe in the fan fiction. So if that's your cup of tea, you can go ahead and pop over there and check that out too. So until next time, bye.